the big news today? The news? Oh, oh, baseball. Okay, baseball. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, of course, baseball. Hmm, lifetime ban, taking, what was it, 50 games in suspension? Really? Is it all that bad? Hmm, let's see, what's the best way to play this? Sometime, we have to take a look at the long story, but I, you know, here's the sad thing is, there's not going to be as many people in the Hall of Fame. Oh, Hall of Fame. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're, the day uh, Baynard is going around the Tea Party group trying to assure them that they have their interest, they have their best interest at heart when they're making these, uh, when they're doing this stuff. And uh, I love it. He's trying to convince people that one is rear end thrown out, that he's doing this for them. No, he basically. If the President of the United States walked in, bent over and said, I need 40 Republicans to kiss my rear, Baynard would be the leader of the pack because they've got to give him his immigration, they've got to give him his taxes, they're going to get anything Obama wants, they're going to give to him because they, and, oh, what Herbie Daddy says, they want to be loved by the Democrats because that's how they're going to get votes. And they want to be loved by the illegal immigrants because we know they're going to flock, oh, they're not going to vote for him. I, I didn't think they would. Yeah. <laughs> and Obama leaked the facts. We were monitoring Al Qaeda to the press. Yeah, isn't that something? Well, it's the same woman that basically did the talking points to Susan Rice. You know, they, they're now trying to say, well, we didn't give that information out. There's a leak in the White House. Yeah, it's called Susan Rice. She basically was so proud that she, you know, the, the, you know they're going to get the, the uh, thing. In, in, in Benghazi behind them because she's now protecting people. Oh, what did her daddy said? They said, now as soon as the, the warning is off, they'll blow the, all the hell out of the places. What? Because, okay, they said as soon as the United States puts the warning aside, all, all they did was they stopped it, they, they just stopped it from happening until the embassies are back in full staff and the Americans are being allowed to go there anymore. So that's when they'll attack folks mm. that because their guard will be let down. One of the guys said, they, they even know, well, here's one of the Muslims said, I will bet that it's going to be, that Ramadan really isn't, they, most of the people do respect uh, you know, Muhammad and they do not attack on those holidays. But they will attack on anniversaries of big massacres and that is coming up. Oh, Kirby Daddy said, when's it coming up? Oh, about one day after they're pulling the, the alert. Isn't that uh -huh. amazing? And State Department hopes to meet Eight, between the Brotherhood and Egyptian military. Yeah, I, I, that really went well this morning. They uh, they told okay, they they told the American am, am, ambassadors to Egypt, which are John McCain and uh, and, uh, and and the idiot from the south, uh, whatever, whatever McCain and uh, the, uh, they said that basically you can take it and stick it up your ass is what one of the guys said. He said the people do not want the Muslim Brotherhood. We do not want it. Only your president and you want it. And they said it's not going to happen. They also pointed out that John McCain got really pissed. Our constitution, of which the Muslim Brotherhood tried to throw out, directly forbid the Muslim Brotherhood from participating in the election that they won. Uh. And McCain, you know, McCain and uh, the guy from South Carolina said, well, you need to have an open process. They said, only, okay, they won. Yeah, but only 35% of it people voted in an election of which they require 95% people to vote. You must vote in Muslim countries. They 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 mm -hmm. don't take and only. Uh, they, it was like an American election. So few people voted. But when so few people voted, guess who's going to win the election? Like Barack uh, Obama did. And looks like Obama to give Detroit unions the bailout they want by presidential decree. That's right. They said that uh, he's not going to be able to push it through Congress because the Democrats aren't going to go with it. So he's going to do an executive order to see that these problems are taken care of for the union. Oh, what did he do this morning? Uh, he suggested to the city of Detroit and the federal arbitrator, who's not supposed to be influenced by the President of the United States, that the uh, people's retirement, the, re the uh, government, the unions, and the retirement retirement fees be represented at the meetings. They'd already been told they wouldn't be by the other judge, but now they had a higher judge that basically is in the president's back pocket order that these people be present so that their rights can be protected. Mm. Guess whose rights aren't protected again? 
Yeah. Bondholders. And sentencing Bradley Manning. He could get 100 years and he could get none and get a presidential pardon. Well, they figured the President of the United States is torn between presidential pardon or our Medal of Freedom for what he did because remember our president totally hates the military mm -hmm. and he loves spying so. And Judge blocks one restriction on Wisconsin abortion doctors. Well he can't do that because there's nothing, there's totally nothing wrong at, that a doctor have surgical, um, that he's, he's, uh, he has surgical rights at the hospital he's doing the abortions at. That's called standard procedure. They don't let a guy from Trinity Lutheran go over cedars and operate on people. They have people that basically are, are have basically have an agreement to do work there. But, and, but the, the abortion people, well, you know, well, I got this guy that basically hangs out in an automobile that's got a medical license. I think that she should come in to the top hospital in our nation and operate on anybody he wants to. It doesn't work that way, no matter what the president wants. Mm. And Judge, oh, Federal Election Commission now tied to White House and the IRS. Oh God, the chairman of the Federal Election Commission went ballistic yesterday, but he found out his people had been working with the White House in order to get, in order to put information out on Republican campaign people. Which is totally against. Can you imagine contacting? He basically the the, uh, uh, the head of his election campaign, who totally hates Republicans, would con would working through Lois Lerner with information that where he was. They they get a complaint at the Federal Election Commission. He'd then pass it on to Lois Lerner, and Lois Lerner would then investigate and give that information back to the the. Uh, officers with the Federal Election Commission that were doing investigation, then they turn it over to the press. They know that the White House, the guy said, he said that if none of this had happened, you'd figure it was a, and he said, I want to hate those words, some rogue agents. Unfortunately, since everyone ends up in the very same loop, you know we've got a problem. And they, they said that they, that they uh, the people that were involved have already been fired. He said, unlike the other people, I, I don't, obey the will of the president. We fired them and they're going to be, their criminal action is getting ready to take the people that were hurt by these people. And they said that unfortunately, they're now having to do an investigation to see just how deep it goes in the Federal Election Commission now. And baseball bans 13 for drug use. Yeah, and they're all, 12 of them decided to get it over with so that, that three of them could be in the playoffs because three of them are headed for the playoffs. They're able to still be in the playoffs? Well, yeah, because the ban will thin before the playoffs starts. Okay, it can amount to as much as $500,000 a player for being in the playoffs, but not not Rodriguez because Rodriguez basically, he, he wants every penny he can get even though they said that they, uh, the, they said the commissioner of baseball told these morons, he told the Major League the Player Association, under the terms of the contract, I have the right to ban any player for actions deemed, uh, you know, uh, against the game. I can, I, you know, they, the Players Association no, uh, negotiated a year ban for Rodriguez, and he decided to fight it. And the next one is going to be if they, they said if the arbitrator rules against the Major League Baseball, they're simply going to ban Rodriguez, and he gets no money versus. If he accepted the ban and never played another game, he was going to get ninety million dollars. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, right, isn't it? yeah. And Mitch McConnell's team prepares to defend his role in the coming fiscal showdown. Uh, basically, they know he's got to cave in to the Democrats. I mean, McConnell is gone. McConnell will not win re-election because um, he's done, he has no money to fight the people that are going to run against him. Democrats aren't going to win because God, well, Kentucky is a red state, and they, you're not going to, I mean, they're laughing at Ashley Judd, who has the best chance of winning, because they said, you know, they, they really go really big in Kentucky for their senators, you know, having a ruler, you know, virtually thinking of cotton, like a, what, what my only judge said about her daughter. You must have it written in your contract. You've got to be out of your panties at least one scene in every movie. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't go over well in Kentucky. And Boehner, no decisions made on whether the White House will defend Obamacare. Uh, basically, the White House has doubled down again, like they always do. The Obamacare is basically, he, he wants to extend it even further than it was. 
and he's, got, he's picking and choosing against the law. He will lose with the court system again, but you can count on the Republicans to cave in to him and not challenge him in the courts. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, it says I never remember what was written by Monty. It's just, uh, okay, uh, this is a real good one. Often things are not exactly what they seem to be.